hey guys what's up welcome to my first flutter video so today i'll be creating a basic and simple uh, uh, login page so first of all uh, i have my folder out here uh, the login app folder and inside it i have created a new folder called assets uh, which contains the logo which i'll be using in my login page so after that i have uh, included uh, the path of the of the lo logo or the asset uh, in, in in the asset section in pubspec.yml so you guys can um, just uh, uh, you guys can just uh, include it in in your pubspec.yml if you are using any logo or any image and if you are using any icons then uh, you don't have to do that uh, and if you are importing icons then you need to do it so that's it and uh, and so let's begin so first of all uh, we need to import uh, the Dart material package for, uh, from from uh, material. So let's import this uh, material Dart package. And after that, we need to initialize the void uh, uh, the the main function. So let's uh, initialize it. So as you guys can see, uh, uh, and after that, inside the main function, uh, let's run app and i'm going to name it as uh, my app and we need to create a, a, a widget named my app so uh, let's create it so in vs code you just need to write uh, sd and it uh, gives you the shortcut so i am i'll be using i'll be creating a stateless uh, widget uh, named my app and after that i will be returning a, a, a material app and inside the material app let's uh, give the title so the title would be uh, login app and uh, after that uh, we need to need to specify the home so let's specify the home as a uh, login page So I don't have the login page a page yet. So let me create it. So I'll be creating a with a stateful widget uh, the uh, the login page. And after that, I'll be returning uh, like a scaffold. So let me return a scaffold. And inside the scaffold, uh, I need to uh, provide a body. So uh, in the body section, I'll be uh, basically doing uh, putting all my stuff uh, inside a safe area. So let me just uh, initialize a safe area. And inside the uh, safe area, uh, I'm going to give it a child, the child which would be a list view. So I'm giving it a list view child because all my uh, logo and uh, and other text field which uh, contains the email and the password will be um, in a list format. So uh, I'll be using list view and I'll be adding some pad uh, padding uh, which would be horizontal so uh, edge in inset symmetric and horizontal so let's uh, give it a padding of around 18.0 uh, so that's okay so then um, I'm going to give uh, it a list of uh, widgets as children so inside the widgets part let's uh, 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 at first we are uh, uh, we need to put a sized box so let's put a size box so that we get uh, get some space and let's uh, just uh, put a height and in the height section let's uh, give it a height of around uh, 80 and after that uh, let me just uh, put the image so let's uh, put the image as uh, follows so I'll be using image dot asset uh, and here I need to specify the the uh, directory of my uh, image or my logo so let's go to pubspec.yml and I'll just copy this out and just uh, paste page paste, uh, paste it uh, right here so it's uh, done and uh, uh, let me just include all all of this inside a column so let's include this uh, wrap it inside a column so I'm going to put my image uh, inside the column So let's try uh, running this app. Uh, let's try running it, and it's uh, being run in the background. So let's 
uh, add more features so uh, then we are going to add another size box so uh, we'll add another size box of uh, let's say height uh, around uh, let's take it as uh, 40 and after that uh, we need to uh, we will add some text so basically uh, under the logo will uh, we are going to add some text so let's uh, add some text new text so the text would be just a uh, basic uh, material uh, login and right now our app has been uh, built and you as you can see here we have the logo here and this part is covered by the size box so uh, we just let's just uh, give it a height of around uh, 120 so let's uh, hot reload it so here you guys can see we also have the text which is material login i think it's hardly visible so uh, anyways let, let's uh, make it a bit bigger so let's uh, go to style and inside the style part let's add a new text style and the text style will be font size the, let's uh, make it a bit bigger so the font size oh uh, let's uh, keep it as uh, in 25 let's give it uh, 25 and uh, let's uh, give some color to it so i'll i'll be giving a color like uh, a matching with my logo so uh, color start let's give it green accent so uh, let's try hot reloading it and as you guys can see well it's a bit light so let's uh, give it just uh, green uh, let's see oh, now it's perfect so this is it and uh, the size box uh, let's give it a height uh, not 40 let's give it 30 and let's hot reload it so it's looking good uh, right now it's uh, the text is uh, matching with my logo and also it's clearly visible now so after that uh, what else uh, do we need uh, uh, we need some text fields for our email and for our uh, password so let's uh, add some text fields so uh, I'll be adding some text fields uh, so first let's add a size box uh, to create some space so let's give it a height of around uh, 60 uh, point oh. and after that let's uh, add a text field so the first text field uh, would be uh, for the email so let's uh, add it and uh, we need to give it some decoration and decorations will be like uh, input uh, text uh, input decoration so after that uh, we need to uh, give a label uh, text so label text should be uh, email and after that we need to give give the label some style so let's give a style uh, text style so let's give it a style of like uh, uh, font size we need to uh, increase the font size so the font size let's give it a, a 20 and the color uh, uh, let's see uh, what we got here so we got the text field so as you can see we have got the email and uh, yes it's working perfectly fine so uh, that's it but uh, it's looking a bit stale so let's uh, do a, a simple modification so let's add uh, like field uh, and give it a value true so let's see what happens now and I'll just uh, reload it and as you guys can see it's looking uh, much uh, you guys can see the difference and it's it's looking much better now and after that let's uh, create uh, the password text field so first uh, we are going to uh, need to uh, like uh, give a size box again so let's give a size box and let's give it a height of uh, 20 and after that uh, um, let's give a comma and uh, we basically just gonna copy this up and uh, just uh, paste it right here and this text will change uh, because it's uh, about password so let's give it a password and after that uh, let's uh, hot reload it again and as you guys can see we have both the email and the password fields and we'll, uh, let's uh, give uh, let's give an email email at the rate of gmail.com let's give a password so i'm giving anything but as you guys can see the password should not be visible so um, we want it to be hidden so let's uh, just uh, do a small uh, modification here so let's go to like uh, what else do we have here uh, do we have op secure text yes we have it and let's uh, set it to true and let's uh, see what happens now 
and and as you guys can see we have uh, the password is has become uh, like uh, the password has uh, has not uh, has become in invisible like it's not uh, showing the password so that's what we wanted so it's cool now it's per it's perfect and after that uh, what else do we need uh, uh, we need a login button and also a customer is sign up page for new users like re uh, registration or anything else uh, so let's uh, create our login button first so uh, after this we need uh, after the text field the password text field uh, we need a column uh, first we will need a size box so uh, in the size box uh, let's give it a height of uh, let's say 20 uh, let's uh, maintain some uh, uniform space and um, after that we need to add a column for our button so let's add a column and inside the column let's give it some children and inside the children uh, let's uh, create a new button team let's uh, this is the new button team and inside the button team let's uh, uh, give it a height give it a height of around uh, 50 uh, and then give it a uh, like color disable color so let's give it a disable color of uh, colors uh, dot blue uh, accent and after that uh, uh, let's give it a child so the child would be uh, a race button so let's give it a race button so as i mentioned earlier that i will not be um, handling any backend logic or any uh, any business logic out here so i'll just keep this uh, uh, on press button as uh, on on press option as null and we'll let uh, i'm i'm going to later on make on uh, make videos on how to validate all these forms um, so right now our uh, login button will be uh, disabled it will be shown here but uh, nothing will happen if we press here so this is just for uh, this is just a basic simple lo uh, login page and let's not make it more complex so let's uh, just uh, give it a, a child again so we want uh, to show some text so let's give it a text and let's uh, give it like login so let's try running it and and here here we have our login button and we have also we have a login text right here i don't know if it's visible so let's uh, make it a bit bigger and brighter so let's uh, give some style and text style and let's give some font size uh, font size let's give it a uh, 20 and color uh, let's give it a uh, colors dot uh, let's say white uh, just for simple purposes and let's uh, try running it again and now uh, we can perfectly see it so it's uh, uh, it's uh, looking great although it's simple but it's uh, looking great and after that let's uh, uh, what else do we need let's uh, give some elevation out here so let's give uh, a disable elevation of uh, 4.0 so uh, let's reload it And now you can see we have uh, some uh, a bit of elevation right here. And after that, what else do we need? We are, uh, we need uh, like uh, adjust. Uh, uh, let's uh, we need some text. So let's uh, first create a size box. So under the button team, let's get a size box. Uh, size box of height around uh, let's say 20. And after that, let's uh, create uh, text. Uh, so the text would be like. Uh, uh, new new users uh, new user uh, sign up here so this is the just for display and let's see if it uh, shows up here and here you guys can see this is a uh, new user sign up here so uh, it's looking uh, good now a bit uh, professional so that's it guys uh, this was the basic as uh, a basic and a simple uh, login page in flutter um, how you can build uh, such pages in flutter with just a few lines of code and definitely you can do it uh, with more fewer lines if you want and so that's it i hope you guys uh, i hope this video uh, was helpful for you guys and i hope uh, you guys like this video uh, do share this video and also do comment uh, 
what else do you do you guys want to see uh, and uh, and do subscribe to my channel and i i shall be making more videos like this and very soon we will be validating all this uh, lo login pages and all so this was my first video and i hope you guys like it uh, uh, thanks for watching and uh, have a great day goodbye